really the goal is just to have hardened spots. I don't want that to accumulate too much. So I daub it up, right? And, and yes, can you daub in here? Yeah, right? A little something, something. Yeah, nice. Yes, just very gently. But don't fix it. Don't fix it. <laughs> just, no, just, leave, <laughs> just leave the hair. It doesn't matter much. It in the, off when it, dries. it does. And sometimes what ends up happening is when you try and fix it, you, get you, your you yeah, you make marks. <laughs> no. yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Sometimes the hairs leave marks too. They do. They do. But I'd rather have the mark that a hair leaves than, than, than my finger. Exactly. Yeah. That. Than your greasy finger, right? All the, yeah, <laughs> even more so. So just softening some of the edges. So you put it down and then you go in and soften I do, but you can do it the other way. There she goes, right? So I often think, oh, it's like a Tom Sawyer uh, watching paint dry, but I'm just watching paint get wet. <laughs> Not much different. So there is a little section here at the bottom of this cloud. Now, because you're on an angle, is that going to pull pigment down to your edge? Only you if I make it, it. Only if I wet it. Right? Some of these things, they look like, oh, there's a little watermark or something, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But the water will dry. And we'll also be putting in the cloud shape later. Oh, and it will God. matter less when the cloud shape arrives. Much like when you guys had, some of you had little mistakes, blooms and blossoms and things. Mm. And you thought, well, this is pretty ugly, Steve. I don't want this to stay here. And I was like, don't worry. Just don't fix it. It'll make it worse, right? And, and, and later on, when you put your land or your marsh or whatever it might have been in there, then, then a lot of those things get covered. And, and it's funny. Sometimes... Um, Sometimes they become interesting things. You know what I mean? Things that you kind of like. Um, little things that you use. I think that part of the painting process is sometimes stuff just happens and you have to be prepared to think about how you're going to use it. And, and so sometimes you end up using a mistake, like proactively, and you, you integrate it. And sometimes you just cover it. And it doesn't matter later. I mean, we're all human and all the painters were fond of our human they're all making mistakes while they're painting they're just integrating it or they're covering it and they know it doesn't matter when they're doing it right so you you learn a little bit as you go along whether or not what you're doing is like an irrevocable mistake or not but sometimes i don't know and then i finish the painting and i find out later like oh well, that actually didn't matter or no that actually was ugly and it's ugly now right i've done those too um and that's basically the beginning, that's the end of the beginning of the painting. The sky is in, right? So, and what it's allowed me to do is, since this is all completely dry, right? I could control everything. I am only applying water locally where I want to have a soft edge. It's all about deciding what kind of edges I want to control and, and whether I want a hard edge or a soft edge. And... I'm going to make this shape on the exterior, and then and when we dry this in a second, I'm going to paint the cloud on the interior, and once again, I will get to decide where do I want hard edges and where do I want soft edges. Same exact process, just in reverse. But because the top will be completely dry, I can say, take the water just past the cloud, and I'll have enough room to soften the edge, right? And still have a hard edge on the other side, because they're going to come close together. Mm -hmm. Um... Comparatively, painting the water and the land will be easy, right? It's yeah. just like normal. We have the water. It goes everywhere. We have some dry brush, which you guys have been working on. And then it dries, and then on top of that comes the land. What makes the land interesting is that it's full of calligraphy, right? That it looks like it was made with some assurance, and that's what's appealing about the dynamic brush strokes. When the land looks too tentative, it's not as interesting, because the land is really there to be zigzaggy and to pull you into the painting because this painting's really about the clouds. So let's dry this up and then we'll try out the next part. Uh -huh.